Hey guys, and welcome back to Devil's Third. When we last left off, we were, oh yeah, <laughs> Had a bit of a shit show here with no cover at all. So, you know, hey, that's fun. Oh God. And that was possibly the worst thing I could have done. Uh, dude, you're my cover. Dude. All right. Let's get the scar out. At least with the scar, I've got a scope. Uh, I think it's safe to say um, the Scar's probably the best weapon in this game just because it's got a decent rate of fire and it has a scope that's actually useful whereas obviously with the P90, well P90 is an SMG anyway but the P90 is uh, and every other weapon just feels like close combat only and let's not forget about how good the actual uh, grenade launcher is which all right, admittedly, it's not very good, but it's better than uh, the other weapons, which don't have secondary weapons, apart from the flamethrower, which is questionable. What are you doing, dude? Seriously. You, sir, are an absolute and utter nutsack. But at least you're invincible, I suppose. So, small mercies. All right, well, let's keep working this predator suit guy over. Would like to hit him with a 40 mil, but I don't think that's going to work. That's fine. He's chunks. Ooh, have we got any bullets around here? Um, bullets would be nice. Yep, I guess so. Oh, and oh, that there, there's a sh that's a grenade box, not bullets. That's bullets. Good. There's a shotgun here. Um, why? Why is there a shotgun here? Is it for the stupid people? Like me, I could have quite easily nabbed that shotgun thinking it was useful. But it's okay. We're playing Devil's Third. The shotgun's never useful. The shotgun is uh, a turkey. Always a turkey. Alright. Well, let's go. Who the hell? Wow. Headshots do more damage, apparently. But, I mean... Oh, God. Where the hell did you come from? Come on, sweetheart. Oh, go up here? Kind of. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's literally a grenade. Oh, my God. This is bad. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Take cover. Take cover. Oof. Okay, I think we're good. Sort of like a hunk of meat just roll out around the corner. How do we do that wall run? There we go. Oh, let's get some floating ammo packs. All right, well, I guess... I guess not. How the fuck did you guys get up here so quick? Jesus. What's in there? Uh, Tomahawk? Yeah. Like, that's... Uh. Oh, there's no point. I would like... It would have been cool if you could do, like, different things with, um... The melee weapons, but... Uh-oh. This feels like a boss area. Wait. That doesn't look like a woman. Ooh, gas. Oh, they're not female, I don't think. We're all being gassed. Cheap move. I was going to say we've got that magical MacGuffin stuff. It allows us to breathe gas. Killing I guess. How are they in the way? Soldiers, even if they're diligent. One of Kumano's favorite quotes. Borrowed from a German general who also lost a war. She's gonna be interesting, isn't she? Naked woman. 
Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Um, all of the items in Ivan's room are rewards for completing missions for Caraway. Uh, okay. All right. Whoa, okay, so she, yeah, she's another boss that homes in on you. Oh, God, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, we can do this, we can do this. Ouch. Uh, wait, she two hit kills you? Well, actually, that's pretty standard for the enemies in this game, or the bosses in this game. Uh, okay. Let's wait for her to get close. Um. Okay. Right. I mean, that kind of works. Let's try and stay close to these. Ow. What the fuck, nuggets? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I don't know where she is. There she is. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Getting a Jill. Um, Valentine kind of vibe from uh, Resident Evil 5, but nowhere near as cool. Oh god, yeah, they just stun lock you and you can't move. Oh man, it's just gonna be another grueling boss, isn't it? Okay, so melee is where it's at, so you've got to try and do a little bit of damage and then dodge. So you can get one good attack cycle in. Dodge, you jackass! Okay, sometimes you can get one good attack cycle in. But you can't really let her get you into a combo at all. Oh, fuck, that is annoying. Pick the fucking katana up! Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh, we're dead anyway. Why is it so hard to... Pick the weapons up. Oh, it's okay. It's all good. This is a good game. People have told me this is a good game. This is a video game made by humans that is good. I'm going to be generous and call them humans. Oh, god damn. Come on, get that health back. Oh, Jesus. And you know what else is kind of annoying is when you get into some seriously heated battles. The Wii U um, uh, controller is a shiny piece of plastic that just slips and slides all over your hands. Terrible design. No. Right. I mean, during most gameplay, it's fine. It's just, and I'm stuck in a wall again. Um, during most gameplay, it's absolutely fine, but I am noticed when you, you know, when your your hands get a little bit uh, juicy, should we say, uh, when you're in some intense action scenes, it does not hold up very well. I mean, that could easily be mitigated with a skin, so it's not the worst problem in the world, but it definitely is a little annoyance. That's why I like the other manufacturers. They have nice textured control pads. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. That fucking little move she does with her machine guns is really annoying. It just chips that little bit of health off you. Why did you turn around? Why did you turn around? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Move. Move. <laughs> Dodge and roll. Dodge and roll. Oh, God. Move, move, move. We're dead. We're dead. Nope, we're not. Yeah, we're dead. Using uh, a fast attack whilst locked onto an enemy to a powerful attack. Use a fast attack. I'm only using fast attacks. The other attack's just way too slow. Okay. Oh god. I didn't even see a fucking turn around the corner there, little fucking bitch. Dodge man! 
Dodge. Uh. Okay. Okay, okay, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. We're not dead, apparently. <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake, dodge, you fucking moron. Honestly, dude. Uh. And what's this about locking onto an enemy? What, what, what's that mean, exactly? How do you lock on to an enemy? We're dead, I think. Why won't you look at her? Why won't you look? What is this? Uh, come on, come on. Okay. Fuck my life. Okay. Like, what? what's the rhyme and reason? Like... Like, is there a timing thing that I'm just not understanding with the dodge? It just seems to be a complete crapshoot whether the Wii U actually registers you pushing the button or not. With an aim lock attack. Taking out enemies with an aim lock. What's an aim lock attack? Whoa! Okay, so she can teleport as well. Cool. That's fine. That's good. At least we've worked that out. Okay. That... You know... Oh. Yeah. I have no words. To how horrendous these bosses are. Now, also, is it me? Or is this, like, almost identical to the fight that we had with the other, like, naked women? I mean, he does like his naked women in his video games, which, I mean, hey. Fair enough, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, God, I can't see her. That's the trouble. I mean, obviously, right? But come on on like uh, Ivan you're fucking useless you really are okay just keep ducking and dodging this is quality boss mechanics from the good old you know I mean, this feels like something from 2002 let's be honest this is like PlayStation 2 era mechanics right here. Where is she? Oh, right, of course. She's behind me. Where else would she be? Even though we literally watched her go around that pillar. <sighs> right. Come on, get the health back. And there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to how many attacks you can get in. Yeah, great story. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yes. Not only forgotten, dear, I have no interest in your storyline. Can you call it a storyline? Oh, right, here she is. See, sometimes you can, like, hit her about four times in a row, and other times she'll let you hit her once or twice. Oh, God. You just gotta keep tapping the, uh, LR. Well, the L shoulder button, I guess. And you got to keep hoping that it registers until your health comes back. And then have a... Oh, come on. And then you've got to pray to the gods that Ivan will actually attack in the right direction, which is very hard. See, look. Look at that. I was... I had my back towards her. Attacked and he actually turned around and attacked her. But, like, I guess that's totally random if she will decide to attack. And that is a really obnoxious QTE. Again, QTEs were more of a 
kind of 2005 to 2010 thing, really. Oh, come on. How the fuck do you analog stick? Oh, really? It's just going to continuously unload bullets into me? Okay. Is it me or have we done, like, no damage at all to her? Like, oh yeah, 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 there we go. Perfect example. She actually, oh, come on. She actually does. Um, disappear on you. Can we pick that up, please? Thank you. There we go. I actually got four hits on her there. Come on, get out of the court. Yeah, if you touch... If you're dodging and you touch, like, a wall on of the map, you'll actually get stun locked there. Come on. Come on, we're dead. No, 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 we're not. We're not dead. Oh, what? <laughs> like, sometimes you could dodge, like, endlessly, like, two or three times in a row. Uh, okay, I'm not sure why it suddenly made us look at the wall there. Yeah, so sometimes you can string dodges up endlessly. And then you'll just get in a situation where, for some unknown reason... The dodge just won't work. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I don't think it is a timing thing. I think it's a programming thing. Ah. Yeah, and then you just get killed in two hits like that. Oh, man. It's like they went for this super fast, stylized Ninja Gaiden combat, but they made your character really slow and unwieldy and... <sighs> like the dodge mechanic. Like in Ninja Gaiden, man. Holy shit. The dodging was pixel perfect. You could flip around, jump off walls. You know, you never had to worry about a button press not registering. I mean, I've only played... Ninja Gaiden Black. I didn't play two or three. Well, I played, played a little bit of two, and I think that was alright. But, you know, this is just utter dog shit. Oh, come on, man. Yep, and again, trying to dodge, and the dodge doesn't work. Oh, fuck's sake. She just... <laughs> oh. Hmm. Find cover to break enemy's line of sight. It doesn't actually do anything, though, does it? See, look. How comes I managed to hit her five times then? What, what was different there? Okay. Oh man. You know when you're playing a game and you're literally thinking, can I actually be bothered to continue? Definitely uh, one of those situations right now. Because you know the reward you get for finishing it isn't going to be worth it. Oh, that was cool. Looking into that corner, we actually got almost full frame rate then. Which helps. At least she got stuck on the wall there. That helped me. Oh, she's going to go off and do her monologue bollocks in a minute. Yeah, look, we don't care. Can we just get this over with? You're not Metal Gear game. You're not. You're not in the same league. Orphans of the Battlefield. That's the first we've heard of it. Go pedal thy fucking self-righteous bullshit somewhere else. 
Yeah, so you, can, you must be very poor orphans of the battlefield with this fancy high-tech fucking bullshit suit. Fucking heat-seeking feet. Alright, let's use this Umbaku thing that doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it doesn't do any extra damage to her. Don't seem to have any more health. Oh, we don't care. Why do we care about our parents? Right. Cool. Now I'm utterly gripped by your story. Ivan apparently has no parents. He was apparently made. Or at least he was made to be an orphan. <sighs> okay. Starting to get, like, hyped at how little health she has left. But then you remind yourself that all that has to happen is the game fails to register a block and you're dead. And then you have to do it all over a fucking game. Right, okay. Come on. We're so close. Dead. Nope. Okay. Good, good, good. Move! Dead. Oof. Trying to pull that out of the bag. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> Didn't even get to kill her. I hope we get to kill her. Yeah, it was close. Gold team didn't make it. Poison gas. Can you get to Lanella? No, but she's hurt. She won't get far. We need to intercept those missiles. They're still over Japanese waters, but we're trying to crack their navigation code. Komano should be in the command center. Get the codes from him no matter what it takes. Those are gonna cost him his life or mine. Okay, we suddenly are covered in blood. Alright. Oh. Hello. Oh, man. What the f... Okay. Now we're in some fucking zen Japanese garden, because of course... Well, okay, maybe a garden's a bit of a stretch. Ah, God damn it. Oh, fuck off. Ow. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Just pushing the attack button and stuff's happening. Ah, the game's trying to look cool. And then we die. Oh, okay, so turn cover assists on to automatically enter cover. Wait, you can turn that shit off? Okay, so if I turn that off, how do I actually... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so, so if you... Oh, my God. If you turn that shit off... How... Do you get into cover normally? Can, and if I could stop getting stuck on everything, that would be great. Okay. It's easier to shoot these guys. Uh, melee combat is just fucking ass. And there's a prime example where the dodge stops working. Okay. Ugh. You know, it's not even consistently bad, that's the thing. It actually does get worse as it goes further into the game, somehow. Yeah, I guess that's meant to be somebody. Who gives a fuck? At this point, <laughs> who gives a shit? Let's 
endless corridors. You disappoint me, Ivan. I gave oh, you life. God. I gave you purpose. But what did you take from me? This is gonna suck, isn't it? Your parents had a critical mission, a hijacking. But they failed. Putting our greater goal at risk, they died by my own hands. And you were cut from your mother's womb, a newborn Spartan. And raised to fight your private war. <laughs> war divides us. Our goal is a single nation. With a single ruler, and you'd murder millions to do it. Sacrifice, not murder. You never understood the difference. This is going to be absolute AIDS. I won't die so easily. My disciples were granted a single genetic modification, but I have many, and I can use them all. Mm -hmm. Ruling the world seems like a pain in the ass. Ask Stalin or Hitler. Uh, amateurs. Amateurs. This world revolution, my son. Any and all means are justified. Yeah, they all said that. Uh, oh. 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 We've got a frame rate. I've got a long way to go. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm sure I do. I don't know. We have literally just started. I'm guessing so. We have no. We have no kind of. Um... Okay, what was that? Even with those silly glasses of yours, you are still a blind man. Okay, I don't know how we got into that. What is that? What is this? Okay, now we can attack him because we've gone Super Saiyan. Oh. It's almost as uh, it's almost on the same quality as the end of um, Metal Gear Solid Four. You know, when you have that really epic battle with the awesome music against, uh... Oh god, your brother! Who has inhabited, um... Val Roslot's body. And that was, you know, pretty fucking epic. And one of the greatest moments in gaming history. It's definitely on that kind of level. Or something. <laughs> What is this? What is this? Fucking bullshit. Oh, Jesus. I mean, we kind of chipped a little bit of his health away. I like that black and white filter that really makes things harder to see than they already are. Like, how are you meant to judge anything here? Like, distance he is from you. Uh, where he is on the on the actual map, there's no depth perception here at all. It's just visual noise. I don't even know what we're meant to do here. Does have we got to dodge him until he's finished his attacks? Maybe. Sometimes he attacks two or three times. Sometimes he attacks about four times. That was a five, six, seven, eight. Can you? Okay, we got a hit on him and then exploded. Ah, uh, huh? 
Right. Okay. about a heavy attack. Alright, so heavy attacks seem to be where the money is. So... Interesting. Just got to avoid his bullshit. But your attacks don't stun lock him. At least that's what I'm getting so far. He can stun lock us, but we can't stun lock him. Right. And I get it, he's the boss, so you know. Yeah, it seems to be when he does that run, that's your opportunity. Okay, well, I thought heavy attacks were how to get through to him. I guess maybe not. Alright. Did some more damage to him. I'm really not understanding his pattern here. Sometimes you can just hit him and other times you can't. Uh, I'm confused. Sometimes when he's charging at you, you can hit him with a heavy attack. Other times it doesn't work. The light attacks don't seem to be able to hit him at all. I mean, that there would seem like... After he's done that charge... That seems like an opportunity to get him then. Okay, we we're like halfway through an attack there and we managed to interrupt him. Not really sure how. Is it... it okay. Okay. Oh, my God. I really hope this is the end. <laughs> it's like... Oh. Uh, like, you know, his sword actually went through us then and didn't hit us. Where's the consistency? I guess hitting him head on doesn't work. But I managed to hit him three times there with a light attack. But how? See, and now I'm doing the same thing. Dodging his attacks and then going in for a quick swipe. And it doesn't do anything. <sighs> Really? Well, this is new. Okay. And you do such a pitiful amount of damage to him. Like, this is such a worthless amount of damage. And all the bosses seem to do the same amount of damage to you. There's a two hit kill, if you're lucky. See, there we go. That was that charge attack that sometimes you can hit him. And, and then uh, and then he just one hit kills you. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't. Even when you're mid-roll, which is your dodge, he can still kill you. Sometimes. Like, ugh. Like... Did I, did I win? What did I win, Papa? What did I win, Daddy? Did I win never having to touch this game again? No? Oh. Move. 
move. <laughs> Keep moving. Right, okay. It's almost down to half health. Down to half health. But that doesn't matter because at any second we'll just get annihilated. Like so. Alright, we're actually still alive. For now, anyway. Yeah, to actually avoid that charge does seem to just be 100% luck. Because when he actually does it, the frame rate just tanks. And like any inputs you try and put in. Alright, cool. Okay, he's, he seems to be missing at the moment with that. Which is good. Oh, come on. Why, Ivan? Why do you not always attack him? Why do you sometimes attack thin air? What's the reasoning behind it? Oh, Jesus. Get bucked. Come on, cunt, bro. Oof. Well, thank fuck that he's kind of dodging me. Move! Ooh. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Oof. I am so thankful that that didn't kill me. That always kills me. Okay. <laughs> I guess the rules of engagement have changed. Need some health back, please. Be a pal. Please be a pal and dodge. Come on, dodge. Dodge your attacks, you fucking dickhead. Literally two hits left. Two hits left. Come on, you... Oh. One sec. Oh, thank fuck for that. Too late, Ivan. The gates of hell have opened. <laughs> Yes, we have the same mutant disease. <laughs> Except maybe we're under control. Kumano's dead. What now, Caraway? Kumano has launched SS-18 nuclear missiles. They'll respond to an eight-digit abort code, which we have not been able to decrypt. Then how the hell am I supposed to solve it? Right. Was right. The revolution has begun, and I'm its angel of death. Oh God. <laughs> yes, with a weird robotic mouth. Oh, she gets to burn to death. Nice. Now, apparently, C4s turn up for reasons.
After I've died, you'll know me again. You're not What's, going to die. What does that mean? Believe me, C4. Let me know one thing. The missiles. Do you know the abort code? On Father Kumano's. Ivan, the missiles are approaching their targets. Do you have the codes? <laughs> He's got the he's got the the codes tattooed on him. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? I'm on my way back. I'm sure this is meant to be very touching, but we don't really know who C4 is, apart from the fact that he trained her at some point years ago. Yeah, but, but that, that was just one missile. Was that symbolism for all missiles? Oh, the world's been nuked back to the fucking Stone Age anyway with that EMP blast. Major? C4's out of surgery. Come on, a serum purge the Chimera virus from her system. I want to see her before I'm sent back to my cage. Take your time, Ivan. You've earned your freedom and the gratitude of the United States of America. Hmm. Kind of gathered that would happen. This isn't over. So they had the cure for the Chimera virus. All this time. Uh, well, on the plus side, that utter shit fest is now over. And I can quite confidently say that was one of the worst games I've ever played. And I can't think of a single redeeming moment of it. And you can't even say it's an old game. Game design has moved on. Because it's only five years old. Shit generic music. Awful level. Well, there was no level design. There was just a straight linear path of rooms or corridors. Threadbare characters to the point where there might as well have not even been any dialogue at all. What happened to like the zombies and the mutants? Like nothing was fleshed out at all. And the characters, like I have never played a game, um, at least recently, that was made within the last 15 years, let's say that has had such a cast of generic, unlikable characters. I mean, all the boss characters were terrible. Not even in a so bad it's good sense, they were just terrible. The melee combat is dog shit. Utter dog shit. The shooting mechanics were serviceable. Like, <laughs> just... Uh. And the fact that the system's constantly running at, well, what feels like 10 frames a second, with massive hitching... Oh, man, it just seems like a game that they had a lot of ideas and they wanted to implement a lot of things into. But throughout the development hell, they just ran out of money and time and just got to a point where they just had to fucking bodge something together. I mean, even Nintendo didn't want to publish this. 
Like I say, the rumour is, I've looked into it, the rumour is they've made less than 10,000 physical copies of this game. That's all Nintendo paid to have produced. What a bizarre, weird little oddity. And the fact that the developer has the balls to say the reviews were because it didn't have a, a compelling multiplayer mode. I'm sorry, did you play this? I mean, the developer's a, a huge fucking pervert anyway. I mean, he's all about the tits and ass and lives in an anime dream world, which is fine, you know, you do you, boo. But at least if you're going to have the bollocks to try and sell us a product, sell us something that's worth our time. And, uh, yeah, I did, when I was watching this back, I did notice that the, uh, yeah, that scene there, for some reason he cuts her eyes. He doesn't actually slit her throat. I did catch that when I was editing this back. So. I mean, even games that are so bad have a little cult following. But when I was doing my research for this, it doesn't even have that. But there were a couple of people that really enjoyed this game. Somehow. Which, hey, fair enough, man. If, if you enjoy this, then sure, more power to you. Nobody likes to play a bad game. And I'd rather you enjoyed what you spent your money on than, you know, had a torturous time. But I just, man, I don't get it. I genuinely don't get it. I can't see any redemption with this game whatsoever. Shimano is dead. Many Saud units have been killed or captured. I just left a briefing. Not exactly the outcome we had hoped for. A suspect, yes. But other pieces are moving into place. We'll be in contact. Even these cinematics, they're so grainy and low quality. I don't even think these are high definition. Like, I'm talking 720p. I don't even think they are. They're so low bitrate anyway. I don't think it matters what resolution they're stamped onto the disc with. But that's, I think that's the biggest issue. They didn't hey any care there was no pride in this game at all you can't even look at it and say oh well the developers thought they pushed out a good product you know you can see where they had a bit of passion here or there <laughs> no there's nothing They're like the most generic shitty characters i mean look at this generic artwork here and this miserably generic music I mean, if the game ran at an acceptable frame rate, you could chalk it up to say, yeah, it's, you know, rent it and, and play through it over a weekend, I guess. Maybe if you're bored and you literally have nothing better to do and no other games exist around you. But even then, you know, you're going to come out miserably disappointed and confused and just fucking Board. Play hard and work hard. Yeah, maybe you fuckers should have, like, worked hard at this. Our dispensable partners who made this project possible. Oh, I bet they would have wanted to have their name taken off this. I even licensed real... Um, that's where the budget went. Licensing real hardware. Yeah, it's quite an interesting video on this game. Um, I will put it in the um, 
description of this video to all my fellow gamers no matter how the world changes or times pass our love for games and passion will never die thank you all for waiting so long for this moment yeah don't thank me mate i sure as fuck aren't gonna thank you for making this slurry like his other games were good you know eight years for this Ugh. multi play shouldn't that be multi play i don't know well anyway um that's that i guess um i mean obviously we missed loads of war trophies and whatnot but um I guess we could go back and uh, get those. Ha! <laughs> Said no one ever. Yeah, fuck that shit. So these literally have no bearing on the game. Um, you know, that was actually a fairly short game, thinking about it. But it felt a lot longer. Felt like I've been playing this game for about seven years. Jesus, global ranking, monthly ranking. What, were they expecting people to run this game every few weeks? Or every week? To hone your skill? Why? Uh, anyway, guys, I'm just going to ramble. I, I'm at utter disbelief that this utter shit got released on a Nintendo system. Published by Nintendo. Oh. I just do think it's quite funny, though, that the average Metric score... Um, or was it? The average score for all of Nintendo's properties dropped a few percentage points because of this game. There's somewhere... There's, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think it's uh, Metacritic, but there's a worldwide... Um, score for every company that develops entertainment entertainment and it gives them a, a set percentage and Nintendo was one of the highest in the world <laughs> their score on that scale dropped when they released this which um, apparently a few higher ups at Nintendo really weren't very happy with as you'd expect Ugh. I can't believe they, they dropped it Spent six months trying to get someone else to publish this game because they didn't want their name on it. And I guess in the end, they had no choice. They had to take that bullet. So, there we go, guys. It's over. <laughs> Until next time, we'll find something good to play. <laughs>